My name is Prophet Antoine Jasmine, the founder and overseer of Choice International Family Outreach Worship Center that is one church in two states. In La Plaza, that is 516 East Airline Highway, La Plaza, Louisiana, 926 Connor Street, Dayton, Ohio. The history of Choice International began in 1996. Uh, it was a musical group we traveled throughout the country, uh, Jones Beach, uh, the Bahamas, uh, throughout almost 50 states and from that experience uh, it was prophesied that we would, would begin uh, church plants, uh, business uh, from barbershops, beauty salons and we've seen the hand of God really move from places, from place to place. But in the early 2004, uh, the ministry went through a major uh, demise where the Lord began to reroute certain people from the ministry uh, due to, I did not know I was not attracted to the pastoral uh, perspective as a prophet since in my early teens I've been called to the prophetic ministry, but in pastoring it, it was not very attractive because I realized pastors uh, suffered in that capacity. Come on, bless me to be a blessing for somebody who don't know God, but they knew your struggle. So God, when you bring me out of struggle, let me go back to Egypt. Y'all will help me get no help. Come on, let me go back to Egypt and deliver some folk to let them know that if God be for me, who can be against me? Somebody to give God the praise all over the internet. Come on, by way of Laplace, Louisiana, by way of New Orleans, Dayton, Ohio. I want everybody by way of Houston, Texas, begin to give God the glory. Come because he's going to bless you. He's going to bless you with the house. He's going to bless you with the cars. Not just one car, but the car. He's going to bless you with the houses and the land to be a blessing to somebody else. Uh, many pastors plant churches due to because they feel they're called to pastor, but I didn't plant churches because I was attracted to it. I planted churches because I had a call on my life to father sons and daughters, and that was an opportunity for them to have a house to go to to get developed in life skills according to biblical pattern. When folk overlook you, come on, y'all are helping me. Come on, when God, when you're trying to cover your mistakes, but the oils of God has a way to go into your mistake. Come on, the oils of God has a way to go into when you had a bad, a, a baby out of the way Come on, the oils have a way to go into a situation where you have made a mistake of committing adultery. Come on, the oils have a way of finding you when you come on, when you became one drink became an alcoholic, but the Lord to take your name, so then the oils shall find you. The ministry of the prophet is, is, is completely different from the ministry of the pastor. Uh, uh, the prophet has been with me all my life. The Bible says before in Jeremiah chapter 1, before you were conceived from your mother's womb, I knew who you were. So before conception, uh, God already created me to be the prophet to the nations. You can't hear unless I hear you. And this is helping you. Hmm. A whole lot. Lift your hands to the Lord. Have you asked the Lord to heal you? Not really. You haven't asked him to heal you. Well, sometimes we have not to we ask not. I'm willing to agree with God. I don't have the power to heal. I have the power to agree with God. Yeah. And he does what he do. Are you with me? Yeah. Don't say nothing. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm said to him, believe the Lord. I believe, and I believe God can heal this man. I curse spiritual deafness, natural deafness from this man's body. And I release the spirit of Father that causes deaf ears to open. And God, I think about if he has faith to believe it, you can perform it. I declare it is so. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you 
hear me? Yes. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, somebody give God praise. I'm Apostle Greg Taylor. I've been here at Choice uh, for about four, four years and three months. Um, I had a great time here at Choice. Uh, matter of fact, was pastoring the church for nine years and uh, just heard the voice of God say, you know, just close the church. And I knew God wanted me to look for someone that could teach me that I could be under and be subject to and learn uh, authority. So uh, God led me to choice. Went to two or three other churches, but God came right around and led me to choice. And I've been happy and blessed ever since. I was overwhelmed because I knew God was calling me, but I knew this was bigger than me. And it was gonna take God to do this because within myself, I did not qualify, but through divinity, God seen my future. And through that experience, uh, I began to go into a complete uh, separation in uh, not doing what other kids were doing, uh, not going to the club, not going to, uh, not being promiscuous. Uh, I just knew God called me for work and I began to get an understanding of the office or the capacity of a prophet, begin to study major amount of prophets of the Old Testament and begin to understand that is uh, God called me to be different and unique in my calling. So I began to put myself through training of the prophetic. Many feel they're called to the prophetic, but it takes training. And my greatest teacher has been the Holy Ghost. He's taught me things. And so when I read books about other prophets that have gone before us, other patriarchs of the Bible and patriarchs of our day, I begin to understand the significance of that office. I've seen uh, the dead rise. A man died in 2009 in my service as a pastor. And he's one of my leaders today. He died and through prayer and consecration, we've seen the hand of God resurrect you know, a dead man. If I am a prophet, a prophet especially is to resurrect dead things. I can tell you what's happening. Come on, somebody. Too many haters, fret not yourself. Well, I can't get no help in this sanctified church. Too many haters everywhere. You trying to be everybody else. Or oh, if I was a choir director, you ain't the choir director. Well, I can't get help in this place. If we focus on our own purpose, I wouldn't have to peek into your purpose because I'm too busy working in mine. Too many schizophrenic Christians, low self-esteem. I can't get help in the house. I'm not intimidated. I love preachers, but I'm not intimidated by preachers because I'm very comfortable in my office. I'm not trying to be T.D. Jakes. There's only one T.D. Jakes. Well, Y'all don't help me give God no praise. I can glean from other preachers and learn from other preachers, but I'm comfortable in who Antoine Jasmine is. I've acquired that because sometimes you don't like yourself. And God usually calls folk who don't like themselves. We had a conference um, September 19, 2010. It's kind of hard to forget that date. Uh, I was doing the prayer lineup, and I was uh, asking one of the ministers, Pastor Tammy, could she pray? And I noticed that uh, her mouth was moving, but I couldn't hear anything coming out of her mouth. And the next minute, uh, according to the people, uh, in, and we have nurses in our congregation, uh, literally I had died for, for 20 minutes. Uh, the only thing I could remember was hearing uh, somebody saying, uh, I command, I rebuke death and I command his soul to come back. And I was told that was the prophet over me speaking, uh, speaking life to come back. He tell me why somebody else was anointing me with R. And so truly I believe in the power of God. It is said that immediately, uh, if you've never seen Lazarus, you see me. It says that uh, my body just jumped and sit up and I jerked three times. By this time, the ambulance driver came and confirmed that I had stopped breathing for about 20 minutes. And because of the man of God and his, his, his connect with God and, and the power and anointing that God has on his life, was able to resurrect a dead man. Firmly in your fist, and even the credentials that you have, the faith of the Lord is upon you. God says, step forth with his favor. Yeah, step forward, somebody in the show. You need to step forward in the face and step right in with feet first and be planted in the favor of the Lord. 
I love the prophet. I love pastor, but I love to see the hand of God move in the prophet because so many times when people hear the word prophet, they think immediately of false prophets. And I think we have a bad understanding of a false prophet. Jesus said there'll be many false prophets in our day. Well, a false prophet is one that began to shine light on himself more than God, more than Jesus. So I don't come to take Jesus over. He does what he do. But it's through his ministry of Jesus Christ that I'm able to do the works that he called me. He said, greater works you will do because I'm with the Father. So I thank God for the understanding of the ministry of the prophet. And we do have a school of the prophetic to train other prophets throughout the country, uh, both young and old, uh, to acquire uh, that what they need in the prophetic gift in this. So we encourage you to enroll in our uh, AMJ School of the Prophet. The same debt I used to have, I don't have that debt no more. It used to be low budgets. Now I got budgets way above my head. I said, God, how are we going to do it? But then I prepare you with the thousand a month. I prepare you now for the six thousand a month. And I'm preparing you for the six million a month. Because the God, you don't have a minute on every level. There's a new devil, but at every level there's a victory. Hi, my name is Gregory Donnell Taylor Jr. and I'm a member here at Choice International Family Outreach Worship Center in Laplace, Louisiana. Um, what I, and what I do here is I'm a prophet in training and what it means to be a prophet in training is the submission under prophet Antoine Michael Jasmine and submission under God. He teaches me um, how to talk to people, um, how to dig into, you know, the, um, the obvious first, you have to seek out the obvious first before you can seek out what God is telling you. Um, he tells me um, how to approach people, you know, um, how to study people first, most of all, study people, you know, because you just can't go up to them and just say anything. You have to know how to approach them. Without the word of God, you fail, you automatically fail. So he teaches me, you know, read my Bible every day, you know. So he's a great man of God, and I respect him. God always calls folk with some issues. Come on, here, somebody. Moses who could not speak. Come on, here, somebody. Come on, Elisha who didn't have no mother and no father to bring him into his purpose, but he raised up Elisha. Well, I can get, come on, y'all don't help me give God no prayer. He raised up, come on, Esther who has an uncle to raise her up in the faith to prepare her for the kingdom. Y'all don't help me give God no prayer. He raised up, come on, and Naomi for a Ruth. Come on, come on. They were looking for each other, but come on. Naomi was bitter, but come on, Ruth was broken, but God used them both to bring purpose. This is your season. This is your time and season for visitation from God. God's about to visit you in ways. You will blow your mind. God's about to blow and cause your dreams to come alive. Somebody to shout hallelujah. We bless your name. Bless your name. We bless your name. Come on, that's good news. Choice is my choice.